Hey everyone, it's Nakia, and this is Real Talk with Nakia. Our topic for this week is pot buys. And while I was taking a look at pot buys, I also thought about pop ups. You know, I'm a little different. I do things a little different. And um, honestly, truly, I thought of an idea. If for any reason, new agents, sometimes they don't have somewhere to pop up. So why not? Or they don't have somewhere to pop by. So why not give them something to pop up or pop up in social media? So I turned a few pop by ideas into social media ideas to help agents who uh, don't have a lot of business, but still want to use these marketing techniques or um, agents that are new to business that need to use these marketing techniques. So first of all, do you even know what a pop by is? is what is a pop by a pop by is when a real estate agent visits clients past clients current clients potential clients and they drop off a small gift a small gift that has a theme okay um stay right there listen up uh first of all y'all know pop by door knocking kind of sounds alike right but with pop buys these are clients that you already have people that you already know contact information that you should already have so first what you want to do is when you're going to do your pop buys you want to develop a list a list of addresses and people and contact information of where you're going to go uh, for those that sell in multiple areas or a lot of different areas sometimes you may want to choose one zip code you may want to choose one city you want to might want to choose one area or if you're licensed in you know a couple states or a couple area couple different areas um just choose an area and make it a targeted list make your list first okay and about 10 15 20 minutes or maybe a half an hour to an hour before before you're going to go out and do these pop buys and pop-ups you want to warn or you want to be invited or you want to let people know that you're going to drop past their house there's nothing like an unwanted visitor right even if we're agents we have personal relationships with people we do want to make sure that we are are invited to someone's home at any given moment okay so always make sure that you call or text to let someone know that you're going to stop by or pop by. All right. Um, when you visit, this is the key. When you visit, you want to make sure that they know and that they understand that you are looking for referrals also. This is a goodwill touch but I'm also looking for referrals from you. So most of your graphics are going to ask for a referral. I even included a bonus when we're going to ask for a review. All right, let's take a look at my graphics and I'm going to um, basically tell you or give you something to connect to this graphic if you're printing or um, you can kind of tell here. This says your referrals or a touchdown. Let me help your friends and family score the home of their dreams. So this is February, right? So we are going to use this right around Super Bowl time or the playoff games in January or even the Pro Bowl. This is an ad that you can run while your friends and family are watching football on TV if you're not going to pop by or pop up. Have this ad pop up on your social media right that's a football one uh our next one is related to coffee and tea i cannot express how much i appreciate your referrals on this one you're going to include if you're doing a little gift bag you're going to include tea and coffee or a Starbucks gift card perhaps depends on what your budget is if you're on a tight budget Go to the dollar store and grab some instant coffee, instant tea or tea bags or the little um, pouches of uh, pour uh, like iced tea or peach tea. They come in a pack for about six to ten for a dollar. So you can do tea on a budget and they also have coffee. Y'all coffee is just a few more dollars, but they have coffee in instant packs 
Put these in a uh, clear cellophane bag, put some ribbon around and tie your business cards either inside the bag or to the bag. Now, for me in pop buys or anytime I exchange a business card, I'm always exchanging more than one. You never want to give one business card. You're going to give multiple business cards, generally three to five business cards. This way you're telling your clients, I want you to give my cards out. Or if they call you, if they call you up on, oh, this is too many cards. You tell them, I'm looking for referrals. That is the right amount of cards. So keep one and pass the rest on or give them all out and let me know when you need more because I'll pop by once again with another gift too. All right, uh, let's look at this one. This one can be used with a, a bottle of hand sanitizer if you are printing and attaching a gift. This one says spread love, not germs. Your referrals and reviews are so appreciated. Thanks for spreading the love, right? And you always want to have your branding information, your contact information on the graphic. Don't forget, okay? Um, also on this one, it has those hearts there. Spread love, not germs. This is another one around Valentine's Day, right? Go to the dollar store, pick up some hand sanitizers. Or oh, my favorite hand sanitizer is actually at Target. Um, it's called, I think it's called Ocean. It costs one dollar and just a little bit of change, but it smells so good. I think you should use that one. Uh, put it in the cellophane bag again. Put some business cards in there. And again, just really ask for the referral. Or this one is actually asking for a referral and a review. Now, if your clients did not leave you a review, make sure that you are giving them a call to action. I need you to give me a review. Go to Zillow. Go to my website. Go to wherever you need them to go to leave a review. On my link in my bio, I actually have a tab or I have a button that says, leave me a review. So it's always good, you guys, to have your link in bio available and have these different links there so you can always send people to one place. Like say, this person is already your Instagram friend. You're going to make it easy for them to leave you a review. Okay, so don't forget link in bio. You want to have a link to leave your review. And this is your pop by with a hand sanitizer. Now this one, this one, it wants you to give out cookies, cookies. All right, no matter how the cookie crumbles, your referrals are the best part of my business. So you can do the individual bags of cookies available in the snack aisle in Walmart or the market or um, fresh baked cookies always work as well. Don't forget to tie business cards or give away business cards with the cookies so that they can give your card to their referrals. All right, next up, real estate is my jam and your referrals are my bread and butter. So this is the graphic I created for this one. Uh, this one easily attaches to a jar of jam, a jar of jelly. Um, you could even give a loaf of bread and some butter, whatever you want to do, right? I suggest the jar of jam. And um, this one is really self-explanatory. Drop it off. Don't forget your cards again. This one, again, this is uh, Hearts, Valentine's Day. February is all about love, okay? So this one says, call me to get to the heart of the matter when it comes to all of your real estate needs. This one could easily be attached to some candies, uh, some heart-shaped uh, candy, heart-shaped chocolates, a box of chocolates, anything that you want to drop off. During Valentine's Day, don't forget the dollar store. Or don't sleep on Walmart. Walmart actually has some things that are a dollar or less. So again, it's February. We have football going on. Um, it's winter time. People always need coffee or we always can use this one all throughout the year. I cannot express how much I appreciate your referrals. Then we got hand sanitizer. We want people to spread love during February, Valentine's Day. And the cookie giving out cookies and last but not least real estate is my jam and attach this to some jam so for more marketing tips 
or other uh, social media tips from me, you can get in touch with me on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere at Moving with Nakia. If you use the hashtag on Facebook, you'll find me. Or if you just go to NakiaEvans.com, my name is spelled out on the screen, N-A-K-I-A-E-V-A-N-S.com. And this is Real Talk with Nakia. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for tuning in.